Hey y'all, good morning. So for me today is Thursday, but I think that this video will go up Friday. So happy Friday to you, friends. Hope you have a great one and a great weekend. I missed two days of Vlogmas, um, but I'm okay with it. I, on Tuesday, was hanging out with my mom and just got home late and was like, I don't want to sit and edit for an hour. Like, I just want to relax. So I just relaxed. And then yesterday, which was Wednesday, I went to my mom's house, cooked this. Oh my God, you guys, I'll link the recipe for you. I didn't film it. <clears throat> I'll link it for you. Amazing. and so easy. It's um, the skinny-ish dish, buffalo chicken and rice. I'm obsessed. Like, it is so, so, so good. Um, and it made me wonder if, because it, use, it uses um, cream of chicken soup, which I think for the whole can is only like five or six points if you use the fat-free one. So, I wonder if that, I might experiment a little bit with the buffalo chicken pasta next time I'm like craving it because it was so good that I wonder if that would help the sauce with the buffalo, but I don't know, or like with the pasta, I don't know though. Um, it was delicious. I'll link it for you down below. Seriously, you have to try it. I usually stay away from recipes that use uncooked rice. Like I like instant rice because I know I can't mess it up. And I always mess up real rice, but this one you just mix everything together in a casserole dish, throw it in the oven, and an hour later it's cooked perfectly. Like perfectly. It was amazing. So definitely give that a try. So good. But I made that at my mom's house. <clears throat> then I ran home for like a hot second. Then I went over to Morgan, so I haven't seen him all week. And um, yeah, I didn't want to grab my laptop and have to edit when I haven't seen him. So I did film a Q&A though yesterday, so that will be up, well today, which is yesterday for y'all. So if you haven't seen the Q&A, go watch it. I just asked for questions on Instagram, and I'm pretty sure I answered every single one. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, there was one about skincare that I didn't answer. Um, so I might have to add that in as a separate clip, because I want to make sure I answered everybody's questions. but. It was good. There was lots of questions about me and Morgan. There was lots of questions about what I do for a living, my channel name, motivation, Weight Watchers in general, like all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested, go check out my Q&A. Um, <clears throat> I just left Morgan's on the way to work. It's 7.47. Got my coffee. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm wearing this cute scarf that I'm obsessed with. Morgan actually bought this for me when we were in um, Baton Rouge for the LSU game. <laughs> I wanted to wait and get an outfit when we were there. And uh, this girl, Hannah, that I um, always chat with on Instagram. Uh, I don't know if she's still in school or not, uh, but she lives in Baton Rouge. And I just asked her, like, what are your favorite, like, boutiques to get cute game day clothes? And she gave me one that's called Frock Candy. Okay, sorry, that sounded weird. I had to cough so bad. So it's called Frock Candy. And I went there and I got a shirt and some earrings and a cardigan. And, um, oh wait, this isn't from Frock, Can Frock Candy. I'm sorry, this is from the Barnes & Noble store on LSU campus, weirdly enough. But anyways, I did go to that Frock Candy. They had a lot of stuff. And Morgan bought me, like, my whole game day ensemble. It was really sweet. <clears throat> but this is actually from the bookstore. It was, like, 20 bucks. I'm obsessed with it. It's really soft, and I love the look of it. And then it's got the little tassels. So, very cute. Um, and I'm just wearing, like, a green shirt with it. So, can we go? Thank you. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm annoyed that they're not going in a green light because we're about to be stuck in another light 10 feet. Um, I guess today's going to be a what eight in a day video. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. Um, and I will probably cook dinner tonight. Ooh. Yeah, the guy in front of me is not paying attention. He is all over the road. Sorry if this part is like really edited. I got my shots yesterday, my allergy shots, and it's my allergies are always worse the next day, basically because they're injecting you with a lot of stuff that you're allergic to. So I really need to get some Allegra. Um, oh, you can go to the store. Is it Allegra that I buy? 
I feel like I would say Allegra and now I feel like it's what's the one in the purple bottle I don't know whatever is in the purple bottle is the one that I buy um anyways <laughs> yeah I need to get some of that but I'll probably cook I'm thinking like a stuffed chicken breast but just stuffed with one of those little maybe two of those little alouette cubes the little spreadable cheese it's like a laughing cow but it's the alouette brand um those and then I bought the garlic ranch seasoning the one that I sent Kelly for the sin the love exchange she messaged me how obsessed she is with it she was like it's good on everything veggies chicken like it's good on everything so I bought one for myself and I was thinking I'd put that on the outside of the chicken and then it would be like cheesy in the middle um, so I'll be like four points for the chicken because I think those are two points each, the little cheese wedgie thingies. Um, but I have zucchini and mushroom that I want to mix up with a little bit of soy sauce. I don't know why that's the best combo, but it is. It's just so good. Um, so that could be like a four point dinner. So anyways, speaking of points, that buffalo chicken and rice is really low in points. It's, um, four... Okay, I haven't calculated it for other plans. I'm sorry. On purple, and I didn't use brown rice, so I counted for the rice. It's four points for a sixth of the pan, and it, it's a lot of food, you guys. Oh, it's so, and you can have like, you can even do four servings, and it's only like six points. Like, it's a lot of food. It's amazing. I'm going to have to meal prep that one week or something because I'm obsessed with it. I need to make it for Morgan. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make it. Probably not this weekend, but maybe another weekend. It's like delish. So I think I'm gonna try to do like a last minute gift guide this week too in my Vlogmas because we're gonna go out shopping this week. And I've got a couple of, of ideas I can share with you like what I'm doing with my family, what I'm doing for Morgan. Obviously not when he's around, but um, do like a last minute. I'll do some Amazon finds, like Target, things like that. Just sort of like basket ideas in general. So. Hopefully that will work out this weekend. Alright, I'm stuck behind the person that wants to go. 20 in a 60. Come on, dude. Pick it up. So anyways, um uh, yeah, I'm thinking gift guide this weekend, so that'll be fun. Um, I just like want to chat with you guys. I'm so sorry if you think I'm like the most annoying person. I guess if you did, you wouldn't be watching my videos. But I just like to chat with y'all in the morning sometimes. It's like talking with a friend. Um, but thank God it's Thursday. I mean, Friday for y'all. Hallelujah. I'll be way happier tomorrow than I am today. Um, but as far as food coffee. I'll probably have a second cup, especially since I started drinking so early. Started drinking coffee so early. Um, I'll probably have my breakfast casserole, which is two points. And then um, my Fiber One Bar, the coffee cake one. I've been loving that as like a mid-morning snack or like a right after lunch snack. It's been really good. I like to keep it in the fridge for some reason. I don't know. I just really like them cold. I think they're so delicious. I'm going to get over so I don't get stuck in this lane. <clears throat> um, I still have my chicken tortilla soup, which is the copycat Chick-fil-A recipe. That recipe and the egg bake recipe are found in Vlogmas Day 7. So go check that out if you want those recipes. Um, it's at the very end, so you can, like, skip all of my talking or whatever. Um, and for dinner, I think we're going to do chicken breast with, like, vegetables and whatever. So, we'll just see um, how the day pans out, and we'll go from there. So, I'll just be editing a lot tonight. I don't know. Me and Morgan kind of want to hang out, but I told him, I was like, if we do, I, like, I've got to edit because I'm so behind. So, we'll just see, like, play it by ear later. Um, and I think tomorrow we're going to make tilapia. We have been craving that. It's one of our favorite recipes. You guys, the traffic is trying me. The person in front of me is hitting their brakes and they are like 70 feet behind the car in front of them. Like, go, what are you doing? Why are you riding so far behind them?
Okay, y'all, I know that all I've done in this video so far is talk, but I'm gonna talk just a little bit more because today, this morning, the breakfast plan, the meal plan didn't go quite, had I, ha quite how I had envisioned it. So we had these Costco cinnamon rolls in the freezer that we're all obsessed with, and we have just been saving them. Someone in the office decided we should make them today. So we make these cinnamon rolls. They're basically like big buns. They're so good. Um, and I scanned it, 10 points, decided to have one. So I didn't have my hash brown casserole. I had this cinnamon bun. I did pick a smaller piece just because I didn't want it to be off, you know? Um, I didn't want to pick the hugest piece and call it 10 points. So I did pick a smaller piece, counting it as 10 points. Um, now it's lunchtime. I brought my tortilla soup, just three points. I'm going to leave off the tortilla strips today because they're the idea to put them in the Tupperware wasn't good. It they um got really stale really quickly, so I'm not going to eat them today. So it'll save me a point. Um and to be completely honest, I don't want that soup. I've eaten it's good. Don't get me don't get me wrong. The copycat Chick-fil-A soup is good. But I've eaten it every single day since Sunday, if not for lunch, then for dinner. I think because I think Monday we had like a surprise lunch that I didn't know about. And so I had it for dinner that night. So I've had it every single day. Today is day five. And honestly, I'm over it. Like really over it. And I thought about stopping at Chick-fil-A. I thought about going to Popeye's. I even looked through my app to see how can I save the day, still save points, you know, but get away with it. I didn't even budget um like my wallet like my money for eating out this week so I really need to stick to the plan tomorrow's our Christmas party so we'll be having a big lunch tomorrow um and I've been figuring out trying to figure out how am I going to weasel my way out of eating that soup because I'm over it but with that being said it is the holidays I want to enjoy the fun meals when it's like an occasion. Like tomorrow we have our Christmas lunch. I want to be able to enjoy that because I was good all week. Um, and I'll feel way better about tomorrow if I just stick to plan today. Eat the tortilla soups. I already had the bad cinnamon bun for breakfast. By the way, it was delicious. Didn't fill me up. I'm starving. I was starving when I left work at 11.45. Um, I'm so hungry. So I'm about to go back and eat at my desk really quick. But... Sometimes you just have to make those sacrifices. I wanted the cinnamon rolls, so now I have to eat my meal prep. I have to. Um, honestly, I could eat some of that breakfast casserole. That would be an option. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know yet. How am I already out of gas? You guys, I, I like am going to have to buy a smart car or something. I don't know. I The amount of gas that I have been going through like makes my heart ache. <laughs> I not even just the cost but like I don't for some reason San Antonio in this area doesn't have any gas stations like none there is not a one on this stretch and it's a pretty long stretch of highway there is not one and it is like the most frustrating thing I always run out of gas and there's no convenient ones within even 10 minutes of my house really it takes me 10 minutes to get to the nearest gas station like what is that I live in too big of a city for that to be a thing I know that y'all are like 10 minutes grow up, but whatever. <laughs> Beside the point. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make the sacrifice. I'm going to eat my prepped lunch and we're just going to, we're just going to hunker down and we're going to do it today. You really have to balance out the holidays. I don't want to waste a perfectly good day on eating out and going well above my points when I know for a fact tomorrow that I'll be going out to lunch because we, well, we're having lunch catered because it's our like big Christmas party. And then we're getting off early. It's the weekend. You know, I want to enjoy myself a little more. So I definitely need to be good today. I just wanted to say that, that it's not always super easy. Sometimes you have to just eat what you don't want to eat because that's what you planned and that's what you have room for in your budget, in your points budget, in your real budget, all of the budgets, and you just have to do it. And you know, one day is not gonna kill you. The food is perfectly good, unless it's like disgusting. It's not, it's good. I just am not in the mood for it, you know? But like, I need to be in the mood for it today. So, here we are. I'm gonna go eat my soup. I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna try to enjoy it. Um, 
and then we're gonna cook a delicious dinner later on tonight, which I'm excited about. Super low points, it's gonna be it's gonna be delicious. Um, so yeah, I just wanna talk about that. Quickly, I get a lot of questions about motivation and how do you stay focused and stuff, and sometimes it's just discipline, like just tell yourself no. Just tell yourself no. No, you're not getting Chick-fil-A. No, you're not getting Popeyes. Even though they're one point, you're not getting it. You're not gonna spend the money. You're not gonna do it. So just don't. You already spent the money on tortilla soup, you better eat it, you know? So I'm gonna go eat that, just do it. And um, yeah, sometimes that's how it is. It's not all motivation and rainbows. Sometimes it's just self-discipline. And that's what it is today. So that's my little holiday tip. And I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, y'all, so I'm home now. I just heated up some dinner, just the buffalo chicken and rice. Like I said, I'll link that video for you down below. I was gonna cook something really healthy, really low in points, um, and I technically don't have the points for this. I am using weeklies, like two of them, I think, to eat this, but I'm just not in the mood to cook, and I have it, and it tastes so good, and I won't be able to eat it for lunch tomorrow because we have a Christmas lunch. Me and Morgan, I think, might go to sushi tomorrow, so... I don't know. I just want to make sure that I can eat the leftovers because they're so good. So I'm just going to eat them tonight, save myself some cooking. Um, but whenever I finish eating, I will show you what I got from TJ Maxx today. As I talk about budgeting and now I'm like, I went to TJ Maxx, but I only got a few things. Um, I didn't spend very much. And I'll also show you my planner. I've got it all. My like cover came in. So it's not really set up like exactly how I want it. I'll need to add some things, I think, but that's the fun part. Um, but at least y'all can see the Agendio part of it, the custom, like the customizable part. Not the case. The case was from Amazon, but the inside is exciting. So I'll show you guys that in a second, but right now I'm going to eat. It comes to say that Christmas is on its merry Okay, y'all, so I just posted the Q&A and realized that I missed a question, which was what is my favorite skincare? Um, I think sporadically throughout my videos, I've shared most of these products. Um, but the first thing, this is like my holy grail, is the L'Oreal Collagen Moisturizer. I use this every single day, unless I'm using this, but pretty much every day I use this. This is what the box looks like. It's like $8, really inexpensive. You get it at Walmart. I get it at HEB, which is my local store. They also have it on Amazon, and I do have it in my beauty faves under my Amazon shop that's linked in the description box if you don't have a store that sells it. Um, I love the Neutrogena makeup remover cloth. This is what I use to take off my makeup every day. They don't irritate my skin or make my eyes hurt or anything like that. So this is like my, my combo every single night. Um, some nights I like to do this Laneige water sleeping mask. You just put this on and go to sleep. It's really thin. Um, let me show you what it looks like. So I've used this tons and y'all can see there's a lot I mean, it's pretty much to the top on that side. There's so much left. So I'm obsessed with that. It feels really nice on the skin. It dries clear. You can't see it. it doesn't get on your pillows or anything. And then you just rinse your hair in the morning. I mean, your hair. <laughs> you rinse your face. This is for your face. Um, in the morning, you just kind of wash it off with water and your face feels amazing. I use this like once a week. You could use it like twice a week uh, because it's pretty mild, but I love it. It makes my skin super soft. Another Laneige product that I use nightly if I'm at home is the Lip Sleeping Mask. Love this stuff. It's basically like a really, really thick chapstick um, that really sticks on your lips. It just feels so good. It keeps my lips super moisturized and I don't feel like they get as chapped when I use this. If I don't, if I'm not at home, if I'm at Morgan's house, I use just regular chapstick. I like this specific Blistex. And then this one I just got at Trader Joe's. And hey, get down, please. We're doing a video. Hey. <clears throat> so as far as chapsticks, I like this Blistax. And then I just found this one at Trader Joe's. Um, Trader 
Johans, Joann's lip balm. Um, I really like this one actually too. It was a three pack for pretty inexpensive. So I was happy about that. And then uh, this is the lotion that I like to use. I just got like a trial size at Target and I just keep rebuying it. I like it a lot. They have a two pack of this one and another one of this brand at Walgreens. That's really nice. Uh, great for gifts, stocking stuffers. This is pretty inexpensive. I get it at Target. Um, but it is the Soap and Glory brand. But I love this stuff. It feels really, really good on my legs. So these are like my holy grail. I use constantly, constantly skincare products. Okay, so from TJ Maxx, I picked up this sweater. It's a little bit cropped. It's got sort of a slouchy turtleneck situation, but it's not very thick, which is what I like about it. Um, I think I'm going to take this to Louisiana with me for Christmas. It's got full long sleeves. Really, really like this. It looked really slouchy on the hanger, so I'm excited. And I also picked up two candles. Oh, that's hot. Um, sorry, the lighting is not good, but this one is Northern Pine. By Village Candle. So I picked up that one. It was $9.99. So $10. It's basically a Yankee Candle knockoff. I had one of these last year and really loved it. Then, okay, this is the other one I picked up, Evergreen Tree. This was only like, I took the tag off. I want to say it was $7.99. Um, but I'm really excited about this one. I like can't really smell anything, you guys. But my coworker said that this one was really good. And it's super cute. And I just like like the ambiance of candles, even when I'm congested and can't really smell them. Hey, y'all. So I'm currently editing this video that you're watching right now. Okie doke. Hutchy. Um, and I just wanted to hop in because it has kind of an awkward ending, ending because I was going to show you my, my planner in this video. Um, but this video is so dang long that there's just no way I could put that clip in here. It would just be obnoxious. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave this video at like 20 something minutes and I will upload the planner footage in my next Vlogmas video. So if you're really hooked on the planner thing, it'll be out in Vlogmas number 11. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It just got really long and I chatted a lot, but I wanted to leave it in there because I have been gone for so long. So I just thought some good old chat would be fine. Um, but yeah, sorry about the huge gap in Vlogmas videos. I'm still doing Vlogmas. <clears throat> I'm just doing my own version of Vlogmas, which is apparently take a week break in the middle. Um, I just got really busy and then my iMovie was messed up. I'm trying not to cough. My iMovie was messed up. I didn't have time to really fix it until today. Today's Tuesday. Yesterday was my birthday. Just a crazy weekend crazy yesterday. I've just been so busy basically. Um, but I'm back and my iMovie is up and running. So we are good to go. Um, and yeah, I'll have more videos out for you guys this week. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to stick around. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and comment down below if you want to chat with me and me and Hutchie. We'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.